what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel and another video today we're going to be doing a flip cup because we are still continuing to bring everything kind of back to a basic level the colors i'm using titanium white onyx black turquoise and cerulean blue all the colors are mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint there is one to two drops of the ogx coconut milk hair serum in each color and I'm gonna just start right away by layering the colors. I have a little bit of gold mixed up over here because I think I wanna try do some embellishments before the spin. So with that, let's, let's get it started. I don't typically like using black very much. I will avoid it a lot, a lot of times. So I feel like it, it tends to take over. So I don't like to use it a whole lot. But how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing amazing. It is a glorious day here in Phoenix. And a little bit of black. Yeah, it's supposed to get up to about 75, which is the high so far. Uh, so I guess spring should be on its way here soon. Thank goodness. I am ready for the hot, hot weather. I was here when it was about 115. There was like a 30 day stretch where it was about 115 here. And I was here during that and I mean, it was definitely hot, but I'm not gonna complain about it at all because I love the heat, you guys. So I'm just alternating colors, light and dark. I'm not keeping the same order, I'm kind of varying it up. I'm just making sure that my layers are very defined. So that way when we flip it, we have a good range of cells that can form. The small layers, they do tend to muddy faster, but they also help you create really cool bullseye cells and stuff of that nature. Let's save the last bit of that white because I'm going to do one churn through it all right when I'm done mixing or layering rather. And we are coming to the end of our layer and I'm going to pour from high so it just punches through all the other colors and creates some cool gradients. I'll get some grays, I'll get some even lighter blues. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, we created some pretty cool little cells. There are bubbles in it, so I'm tapping the cup right now, trying to get rid of them, but we didn't get rid of all of them. Take the remainder of this black as kind of a, a base coat of sorts. Our messy well let me spread this a little bit so I can hopefully land on it all right here we go Ooh, look at them cells you guys those are nice really nice all right give it your lucky taps on the bottom of the cup and Wow, that's a big, long cell just popping up, isn't it? Dang, you guys. Wow. All right. That is cool. There's a lot of bubbles, though. From That was from my churn. So that is something you'll need to keep in mind. If you do a churn, you do introduce bubbles into the mix. So before I do anything, I want to pop these bubbles. And it's gonna, because of that artist lock pouring medium, it creates crazy cells, which is okay. Let's start our gold lines. I think I'm gonna disturb the surface too, a little bit. some nice 
nice gold veins. They're going to grow pretty large. Unless they tend to sink, then they may not grow at all. But I am putting thicker and thinner lines throughout. Alright, let's grab this thing over here. You might need a bigger one. Let's get the bigger one. Because we're going to still be able to create cells after this. I just want to kind of offer some really strange lines going through the center. Maybe getting rid of a little bit of the areas that I don't like. Before I stretch this one, let me give it a little bit of heat, generate any cells we can, further pop any bubbles that maybe we have missed. I like using the heat gun because it's a very gradual source of heat, so I can use it more often. Alright, so those, that gold is going to be just accents and I like that. All right, let's spin it because there's a lot of extra paint on this. I gotta get that extra off. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that is beautiful. Wow, tiny details, little bits of lacing here and there. The odd bubble, which I'm gonna pop. That's me. It's a stubborn little bubble in it. Yeah. I think I was more concentrating on killing that bubble and getting that thing out of here. All right. So now that we stretched it, we can apply heat again. And we should be able to coax a few more cells out of here. The gold is doing some really cool stuff. It's kind of just subtly fading into the remainder of it. That's gorgeous. Two of my favorite parts is these two. Right there, this lacing, and then that. It's gorgeous. But I'm gonna bring you guys down so we can check this thing out together because it actually came out really awesome. So right now I have the light on, so you can see the little areas with the gold. It's always hard to show on camera. But this section right here looks so awesome. And then I really love this section over here too. I like the whole thing, but those are just my favorite parts of this one. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.